roughly 20 countries around the world now have confirmed cases of the Omicron variant. And health experts are rushing to figure out the impact that this new COVID strain could possibly have. The director for the National Institutes of Health says Omicron appears to be a different animal entirely. I think we're all concerned that Omicron has such a large number of mutations, more than 50, that all the things that we've done to try to generate immunity against this virus, this is a somewhat different animal, and we're not sure whether it's going to be as effective as we'd like or not. So the Biden administration is considering new travel rules to slow the spread of the Omicron variant. According to multiple reports, health officials say that they require people entering the country to take a COVID test one day before boarding flights. Now, this rule would reportedly apply to everyone, even if you're fully vaccinated. Our national correspondent, Ben Shimiso, has more on this rule and other requirements the administration is taking a look at. Ben, good morning. So tell us about these rules and the consequences that people could possibly face if they don't follow them. Hi, good morning, Alex. In fact, the White House is considering two new strict measures for all travelers to the U.S., including returning American. First, a mandatory negative COVID test within only 24 hours of departure to be able to board the flight. And then after your plane lands, a period of seven days of self-quarantine for everyone, regardless of test result and with possible penalties as a way to better enforce the rule. Now we should say these measures are still being debated behind the scenes, but they could be announced as soon as tomorrow in a speech the president is expected to make on Omicron. So Ben, do we know any more about how we're gonna fight this variant? Right, that is the billion dollar question, how efficient the vaccines are going to be against the variants. The CEO of Moderna says it will take at least two weeks before we know the answer to that question. But health experts urge people, all Americans, to get the current shots as soon as possible before the variant hits the U.S. In some places, people are doing just that. Listen to this one official at a vaccination site in Virginia. We've seen more people come in and get their first shot because of this new variant. Or they came in and got the booster and wouldn't consider them getting a booster before. Now, Israeli health authorities said just yesterday that their early indications show that people fully vaccinated against COVID within six months or recently boosted could be protected pretty well, actually, against this new variant, guys. All right, National Correspondent Ben Shimizo reporting live in Chicago. Thank you, Ben.